Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be talking about how to become a better Rainbow Six Siege player. So if you guys have not seen the last video, I would very much recommend you guys wa watching that one just to catch up on everything. So the reason why I'm doing another one is because so many people have actually joined the last one. So that's why I'm making a new one. So the first thing that I want to talk about is keeping your movement quick. So the reason why I want you to keep your mo movement quick is so that the other players won't be able to hit those easy headshots. You know, when you peek around the corner very slow, they usually get that instant headshot. So since we're using a controller and not like PC players and mouse, it's very, it's a lot harder for us to switch positions with our sides therefore i would keep your movement quick so the other players won't be able to you know hit that headshot when you're slow peeking around the corner because whenever you're moving quick they usually like can't react to that quick movement that you're having or they don't want to take a shot because they're they don't want to like scare you off or whatever so I've posted another video about uh, keeping your movement quick, which is uh, how to fast peek. So I uploaded that video and I talk about a couple of things, which are drills and some tips for you guys to become better at fast peeking. Fast peeking is obviously a good method to keep your movement quick and to get a lot of intel of where the other players are positioned. So keep your movement quick so you can avoid getting headshotted instantly without knowing from where you got killed from, which is very annoying sometimes. So sensitivity is also important if you have if you want to have nice movement. So that's why I recommend you guys playing on a high sensitivity, so anything above 50 is good. If you guys want to check out what my sensitivity is, then you guys can also check out my, uh, a video on my channel where I talk about all of my videos. The link will be in the description. So the ADS does not matter though, since it's all personal preference, how, how fast you guys want your ADS to be. So another thing that I want to talk about is reloading. So I see a lot of people reloading after every kill. Including me, I do that as well, but that's just a bad habit that I have. So I'm trying to get rid of that habit as well. So I still make that uh, mistake of instantly reloading after I get a kill. So you have 30 bullets in your mag. After you kill an enemy, you have around 10 to 15 bullets left in your mag. So especially since it's a one-shot headshot mechanic game, uh, I would recommend you guys not reloading instantly because you guys can easily get that kill with those 15 bullets left you just have to go for the head which is very easy to say but you know you guys i believe in you guys you guys got this so be sure not to reload like instantly after you kill someone and especially if you're not safe if you're not safe i would very much not recommend you guys reloading instantly because when they push you you're pretty much dead so in rainbow six uh people hold all kinds of angles and you should always be ready to shoot. So if you get your mindset on being ready to shoot, then you will spike up your reaction time. So you can get those people that are holding those tight little pixel peaks or that tight little angles that you can easily pick off. If you're obviously if you're ready to, to shoot, because I see a lot of especially low rank players that are not even aimed in. Like, what are you doing, bro? This is rainbow. You got to be ready to shoot, bro. Bro, bro. So yeah, that's that for uh, being mentally uh, ready to shoot. Another thing that I want to talk about is getting used to going through the same pathways. So get used to going through the same pathways whenever you are on attack. On defense, it's not very that not that important, I would say, uh, because you will know where to what to pre-aim and what to pre-fire, and you will also know where to expect the enemies. Because you have taken the path like so many times, you're going to know where the enemies are going to be sitting or are usually sitting, right? So touching up on the point that I made before being mentally ready to shoot, right? So if you take the same pathway, you will be mentally ready uh, for the other players because you're going to kind of know where to pre-aim that spot. So I recommend you guys having two to three two to four pathways which is all right but you guys got to remember that every operator has a different role so be sure not to take like a rushing pathway with a thermite or a operator that has like uh, the same as uh, same importance as a thermite 
So the last thing that I want to talk about is getting a monitor. So getting a monitor will give you a huge advantage to people that are using a TV monitor. So if you guys are trying to hit diamond, I would very much recommend you guys getting a monitor because every, and I guarantee you guys, every diamond player has a monitor. So what a monitor does, it, it will give you that instant response time. From, so whenever you're playing on your controller and you press a button, there is a 20 to 40 millisecond uh, response time between you, I mean, between the controller and the TV. So if you compare that to a monitor, which only has a 1 to 4 millisecond response time, which is so small, like it will instantly register the, the, the shot if you're shooting on the controller. And to be honest, I, w I could not imagine not playing with a monitor because the monitor just feels so much better with the movement the refresh rate is a lot better and it, there's just no way around you know becoming a better player without a monitor it sounds stupid but it's really true you could ask any competitive player or any rainbow six player that is on diamond level so that is it for this video thank you so much for listening and uh, hopefully it was uh, helpful to you guys I love making these type of videos and I will definitely not stop making them so be sure to leave a like so I can continue making these videos. It, obviously if you guys are enjoying these and if they're any helpful to you guys. So yeah, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Opening wine cellar. Hold it, hold it. I'll throw one set. Connector, connector. Oh, okay, okay. You have been identified. Big track. I think he's garage. You have been exposed. You are being tracked. Okay. He's in garage, garage. Someone is tracking. He pushed out garage. Oh, I, the, I don't have any bullets. I don't have ammo. Don't pick, don't pick, don't pick, don't pick, pulls. Pulls, don't pick. Someone is tracking you down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> eliminated. Oh, that was so bad. I know it was bad, but it's so funny. The fact that he didn't kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna come and die with you, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I die is the white bite. Protected. Now I want the kills. Ricoli, you can fuck off. He's uh, in the left. Kills. Yeah, two spots. Don't peek, don't peek. Don't peek. Okay. Man is going left side, left side, left side, Bacoli. He's defusing! Center, center, center. Smoke, Warum hab ich jetzt wieder? Hä? Lass mich zurück, oder was? Jäger kommt hinten, ist der erste. Oh mein Gott. Oh shit, Digga. Eine Frage, Edding. Ähm, Ellen, wieso hab ich zweimal Nitro in die Überlebung, wo ich die Panzer hab, um die Strecke zu werfen? Keine Ahnung. Das hab ich mal, Digga, äh, 